Welcome to U.S. Immigration TV. Well, the elections are finally over and the Democrats have won. What does this mean for you and immigration reform? So what's happened is, you know, Biden was elected president. The Democrats maintain control of the House. And just recently, we had the elections in Georgia for the Senate seats and the Democrats took both seats. As a result of that, the Senate is 50% Republican, 50% Democrat. So assuming if there are any bills and the Democrats all vote one way and the Republicans all vote the other way, and there's a 50-50 tie, what happens in that case is that the vice president breaks the tie and it'll be Kamala Harris. And of course, as a Democrat, she will vote Democrat, and so therefore, it will be 51-50. That means the Democrats now control the presidency, the House, and the Senate. And so they have no more excuses to implement immigration reform. Because remember, in the past, the Democrats kept complaining that the Republicans were always blocking any time they brought about immigration reform. So now that they control the presidency, the House, and the Senate, they have no more excuses and they should start with immigration reform. In fact, there was just a tweet that came out from a reporter that when Biden was asked what he'll do first, he said, I will introduce an immigration bill immediately and have it sent to the appropriate committees to begin movement. So Biden is already uh, promising action. And this has far-reaching effects. It's not just simply with the Democrats in the majority that they can now vote on legislation. There's much more. First of all, with the Democrats in control, they're gonna be the Speaker of the House. Nancy Pelosi, the Democrat, is now the Speaker of the House. Uh, with them effectively controlling the Senate, Chuck Schumer, rather than Mitch McConnell, will be the Senate Majority Leader. So you have the Democrats being able to control the votes, and it's much more, because now the Democrats can decide the committees, who's going to be the head of the committees, and of course it's gonna be now Democrats. A lot of those committees deal with immigration bills. Uh, they can decide the calendar of the House and the Senate, and that is also very important. Sometimes you would have the House voting on an immigration bill or immigration reform. It was sent over to the Senate, and the Republicans never let it get to the Senate floor for a vote, and those bills just died. For example, there was a point in time where the DREAM Act was passed in the House, went to the Senate, and of course the Republicans controlled it, and it never went anywhere. So now, with the Democrats in control, we hope there'll be reforms. And Biden has promised a lot of immigration reforms. He said that on his first day or his first hundred days, he was going to propose many changes. He tweeted he's gonna start sending them to those committees and let's hope they go through those committees. Some of the things that he was talking about that could possibly benefit you was an end to the immigration ban where you know Trump said that people trying to immigrate on family and employment-based petitions uh, could not have their visas issued. Of course, that has now been extended but set to expire March 31, 2021. He also was talking about a pathway for legalization for the DACA kids, the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, maybe now being able to pass the DREAM Act. Also talked about DAPA or legalization for the parents of U.S. citizens. Biden also wanted to create a pathway to legalization for the approximate 11 million undocumented immigrants in the U.S., in other words, amnesty also wanted to halt Trump's aggressive enforcement actions and end this wealth test in connection with public charge, where Trump was making it more and more difficult for people to immigrate uh, based on how much they're earning or whether they would be considered to ever be reliant on public benefits. And Biden was also promising to bring back prosecutorial discretion, where 
they will not go after every single person and have them deported or removed, but instead focus on those who pose a threat to the U.S., like terrorists and criminals. So what can you do now? First, we have to watch and monitor Biden and the Democrats. Let's hope that they keep their promise, because I remember when Obama was originally elected, he had promised immigration reform, and unfortunately, nothing ever became of that. Maybe he can blame uh, it was the Republicans blocking his efforts. Okay, well now, as I said, you got the House and the Senate and the presidency, all of the same party. Uh, you can already start gathering your documents, demonstrating your date of entry, showing that you have been in the U.S. Uh, since your date of arrival, because if there is going to be an amnesty, that's typically the type of documents required. In fact, I've already done a video about how to prepare for Biden's amnesty, giving you tips. So there's a lot to look forward to. The Democrats promised immigration reform and amnesty. They have now been elected. They control the presidency, the House, and the Senate. And let's hope that they follow through and just like he said, start proposing immigration reform and legislation and getting it through Congress and signed by the president. So make sure you continue watching this channel. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe because there are going to be a number of developments, we hope, in immigration where Trump's harsh policies will finally be reversed and there will be some compassion and pathways to legalization for so many of you. I'm Michael Gerfinkel and this is U.S. Immigration TV.